Well, this is fish in a parcel, isn't it, Jack? Yes, fish in a parcel, yeah. yeah. With chilli, ginger and coriander. Now, I think fish wrapped in a parcel and put in the oven, baked in the oven, is just a very simple way of cooking fish. And it, I don't think people realise just how easy it is. And it occurs all over the world. I mean, this one is actually from India, from Gujarat in India. But I'm thinking a fish parcel is a great way because, well, when you yeah. open it... You just, it's like a bit of theatre, it helps marinate the fish. And it's a great way of sharing, sharing a dish, which is why we're now sharing the cooking. And I've got most of the ingredients on my side, as usual, so... Uh... Well, look, I'm, I'm getting on a bit, Jack. I mean, you know, give us a break. But I think what's really nice is actually cooking together. What I'm going to do first of all, though, is just marinate the fish. And I've got here some very lovely fresh salmon, just putting that in the bowl. And it's just a simple marinade of um, turmeric and lime juice and maybe just a little bit of salt. And I think quite often when I was in India, I noticed that they marinated fish before they did anything else. I think it's partly to give it a sort of bit of a sort of zinginess. And partly, it's, I think it's like turmeric in India is a bit like ginger in Japan and China. It, there's a slight sort of antibiotic mm. thing about it. Not that, you know, most of the fish you get in India is so fresh anyway. Yeah. There's not much refrigeration, so you eat it the day it's caught anyway. So I'm just going to leave that now to marinate for about 15 minutes. And, um... yep. I'll, and so I'm going to get onto the paste that goes with the fish. So here I've got some green chilli, and I'm just going to pop all into this machine here. Some toasted cumin seeds, which I've already toasted in a dry pan. Some garlic and ginger. I'm very, very pleased with this new um, processor I've got. but. It doesn't like chunky garlic or ginger. Okay. Well, we we all know your history with spice blenders and things like that. Some turmeric, a little bit of sugar, some ginger, some garlic, some coconut gone in there, and I've got just some mint and coriander. Fabulous. And we're going to see how the uh, new blender performs. I think it needs a bit of oil, Jack, just, it's yeah. probably not in the recipe. That's, I like yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah! There you are. Thank you very much. Right, the next thing is that just to put everything in a, um, in a popiette. The um, salmon's been marinating for about 15 minutes. So we can get that out and put them. I've just got some foil here to, um, to wrap everything up. It's dead easy. I mean, cooking should be easy, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly, if I'm cooking, it should be easy. I don't do difficult. <laughs> and I certainly don't do um, sort of neat and tidy. There we go. You goes. call it rustic, that's what you call it. Yeah, that's what you do if, yeah. you've, got, if you've been kind to yourself. <laughs> Good. Well, so that, that needs to marinate for a bit. What I really like is when you, when you eat this, you'll get that very intense flavour on the outside. Mm. And inside, it'll be... Um, quite different, you know, quite sort of like, hopefully when you eat it, it'll be slightly undercooked in the middle, because that's what I really like with salmon. So basically all I'm doing is just making a poppyette, just fold the edges over, crimp it a little bit. It's like a pasty. It does, doesn't it? Then just fold the edges over like that. There it is. And um, just pop that in the oven. About 180 degrees fan I've done for, um, not sure, but something like 12 minutes. I'm going to test it in a minute. Okay, the salmon's been in the oven at 180 degrees for about 11 minutes now, but th this is the tip, and I really think that everybody should have one of these. Over to you, Jack. So this, is a, this is a temperature probe, and uh, like the most important piece of equipment in the kitchen. All the chefs that we have will have one of these in their pockets, and they'll use them all the time, because fish, meat, everything can be completely different from one fish to the other. So you don't know what's going on inside of here, so we'll use the probe, and we'll just go straight in. We are at 45 degrees. Which is right. perfect. It's a bit low. Is it? Yeah. For salmon? Well, let's just give it one more minute. <laughs> he says 45 degrees, or I'm just a bit dubious, but it's going to cook on um, for another 10% um, in degrees terms. That's another four and a half degrees, which should bring it up to 50 degrees. So the center will be rare, okay? But rare is how we li like salmon. It needs to be undercooked in the minute. But the point is that with a probe like that, you can measure exactly 
how the centre is cooked, because you're not going to be able to tell by looking at it. One of those drawbacks of cooking on papillon, you've got no visual evidence of how well it's cooked. But when we turn this out, the real advantage of, on papillot will come clear because you get this wonderful aroma when you open it up. So let's open it up. Actually, probably open them up best like that. There we are. So that, oh, that's looking really that. You certainly can. So we just ease those out onto the plate. The great thing about them being a bit undercooked as well, apart from the wonderful flavour of having it a little undercooked for the salmon, is they don't fall apart. We're just going to serve this up, aren't we, with yeah, some uh, rice. Yeah, some plain boiled rice and then a little kachumba salad. So that's basically tomatoes, red onions, some white wine vinegar, cumin, coriander and cayenne pepper. Yeah, cayenne pepper, yeah. yeah. And it's lovely and acidic, so it goes really well with oily fish, adds a bit of acidity to the dish. Well, there it is, my salmon in a parcel from Gujarat with chilli, ginger and coriander and a very nice spice plus a kachumba salad and a little bit of boiled rice. That will be lovely.